Hello everyone. Do you like disaster movies? Come on, who doesn't love to watch huge buildings being destroyed and volcanoes raging on the screen thanks to the skills of different artists and computer graphics specialists? There is something fascinating about this. However, in real life, everything is much worse than in films. Even an earthquake, which in such films is not the most terrible thing that can happen, is actually very destructive. In today's video, we're going to show the possible consequences of a magnitude 10 earthquake. Let's get it on. First, let's see why earthquakes occur. The planet itself is not trying to shake people off, is it? Well, in fact, scientists haven't yet figured out why these Earth movements happen. Yes, while Elon Musk is launching cars into space, in this area, people still don't have full confidence about what exactly is happening with the planet. And it's not like the oceans studied only by a few, but the Earth's crust, which, let's be honest, is much more important than all the little fishies. But what is the thing that makes your chandelier swing in the house? when you know it's not your upstairs neighbors partying. One of the most popular versions is that some global forces move the tectonic plates, but the nature of these processes is still a mystery. In general terms, you can imagine two large pieces of the Earth's crust, which for some reason run into each other, leading to complete chaos on the surface. For illustration purposes, you can try to push two pancakes into each other. Most likely, they'll bend, break, or run over one another. It's surprising, but for the mysterious processes inside our planet, these huge tectonic plates are just like like those pancakes. Just imagine the huge power hiding there underground. But an earthquake is not a unique phenomenon, telling us that we humans are doing something wrong, and we need to urgently give up all our bad habits, including fast food, and devote all our spare time to bird watching. In fact, every year, scientists register more than a million earthquakes using special equipment, and the better and more accurately these instruments work, the more number of earthquakes there are. Quite logical, right? So, there are no extra reasons for panic, except for the fact that this is an earthquake. Well, you get it. To assess the strength of an earthquake, scientists use the Richter scale. For example, a magnitude 2 earthquake is a slight shaking, but a magnitude 7 is a destructive one. To understand what we're talking about, you might recall the 2017 earthquake that occurred in Mexico City. It was a magnitude 7.1 earthquake, and 40-something buildings in the Mexican capital collapsed, unable to withstand the tremors. On the internet, you can find a lot of videos shot by eyewitnesses, where you can see huge buildings shaking, traffic lights trembling, houses scattering, and the asphalt swelling. Honestly, this site is not for the faint-hearted. However, that was only 7.1 points, which is far from the most powerful earthquake recorded by humankind. For example, the 2011 earthquake off the coast of Japan had a magnitude of 9 points, and the underwater shocks in the Indian Ocean in 2004 reached 9.3 points. But the most powerful earthquake that ever happened, apart from, of course, all sorts of legends about Atlantis and other stories, occurred on May 22, 1960 in Chile. It's known as the Valdivia earthquake, because the epicenter was near the city of Valdivia. The magnitude of the natural phenomenon was 9.5 on the Richter scale. The earthquake completely destroyed the 400-year-old city of Concepcion and turned Valdivia, Puerto Montt, and other cities into ruins. Underground shocks, collapses of rock mass, and landslides affected an area of about 80,000 square miles, leaving in ruins a territory that's larger than all of Great Britain in size. Something similar happened in the movie San Andreas, although the cinematic disaster was slightly different from the Chilean disaster. On the screen, the magnitude was 9.6 points. Meanwhile, the real earthquake woke up volcanoes, and a huge coastline just dropped below the ocean level. Yes, this is not a joke. For a few seconds, a 20-mile-wide and 300-mile-long piece of Earth sank by 7 feet. And if it seems to you that that's not so much, imagine going out to the porch of your house one morning to find that you can't come down from it because you have to jump up to reach the ground, or make a rope using your sheets. The 9.5 point shook and broke even huge trees and made waves on the asphalt, hurling random passers-by back and forth. It's not surprising that every third house in the disaster zone was destroyed because the strong earthquake caused a huge tsunami that not only washed off the road surface and many small buildings, but also damaged the foundations of larger ones, destroying them to the ground. 
But this was not enough. After Chile, the waves swept across the Pacific Ocean and attacked Japan and then California, although it seemed quite far from their route. Some of you have probably noticed something strange. For some reason, most of these strong known earthquakes occur near the Pacific coast. Maybe somewhere on the bottom there sits a huge kraken shaking the continents with its tentacles. Or Cthulhu or Godzilla. There's a whole bunch of options. In fact, it's all about the Pacific Ring of Fire. No, this isn't some forgotten artifact from Tolkien's books, but an area along the perimeter of the Pacific Ocean, in which most active volcanoes are located and many earthquakes occur. When the tectonic plate shifts a little, another catastrophe happens. And now let's brace up, concentrate and imagine what will happen if our planet really shakes with a magnitude of 10 points on the Richter scale. Of course, very much here depends on the territory where it happens, but let it be some fictitious country located in the Ring of Fire. So, in the first minute, seismic waves will travel about 250 miles from the earthquake's source, because it will be strong enough for this speed. Along the way, the waves will shake up buildings and take down most of them like cart houses, especially skyscrapers which can simply crack and fall down because of the shocks. If volcanoes get in the way of the wave, then such a strong shake will definitely awaken them, even if the monsters have been sleeping for a couple of hundred years. And believe us, they will wake up in a very bad mood. After two minutes, the earthquake will stretch for as much as 600 miles. Harmless at first glance, the hills, probably very loved by the tourists, will begin to crumble, or on the contrary, rise turning into mountains and sharp rocks. According to experts, by this time a huge number of people will have suffered. Many will die and thousands will be under the ruins. After three minutes, the length of the earthquake waves will reach almost 900 miles, and most likely they will affect the neighboring countries. At the same time, the earthquake will probably reach the ocean, triggering a giant tsunami that will be off the coast just a couple of minutes later. Rescuers are unlikely to have time to clear any of the debris, which means that many destroyed buildings will simply be swept into the interior part of the continent. In four minutes, the earthquake will reach the site at a distance of 1,100 miles from the epicenter, destroying the terrain and turning over entire areas of cities with great speed. The remaining volcanoes will wake up, and a simultaneous eruption with heaps of ash, fire, lava, and all that can be found in Mordor will begin. Seven minutes later, when the destruction reaches 2,250 miles, a huge cloud of hot poisonous gas created as a result of the eruptions will quickly move across the continent, burning forests and cities, even where the earthquake itself had no effect, and wherever it reached too. Ten minutes after the first tremors, most of the cities that stood in the way of the earthquake are likely to be destroyed. Because of the strong shaking, water or fire and in 20 minutes, the wave will come even to Europe and the African countries, provided that the terrible earthquake occurred in the Ring of Fire, of course. Well, and then the forecast is, let's say, disappointing. Okay, we downplayed the scale. The forecast is just terribly frightening, because in 35 minutes, due to strong tremors, nuclear reactors in power plants will be damaged, which will lead to explosions with huge radiation emissions around the world. Yes, even radiation, as if water, fire and earth were not enough for the end of the world. Throughout the earth, huge cracks would be visible, natural gases would burst out, and there, as you remember, something is still on fire. Explosions, more explosions. Looks like a great background for any Michael Bay movie, but it's unlikely that anyone will be interested in filming at the time. What will happen in the end? According to the calculations of the gloomiest of scientists, such an earthquake will lead to the complete extinction of life on the planet. Volcanic eruptions, radiation, tsunamis, and constant explosions. This picture doesn't look very suitable for life, right? If you, of course, are not a big fan of the post-apocalypse, who only dreams of starting to survive in some bunker. By the way, a bunker is unlikely to save you, at least because it's located underground. However, we all know that the best protection against radiation has always been a refrigerator. Indiana Jones can't lie. Well, I hope we didn't frighten you too much with this story. After all, it is just a theory, calculations of scientists, and who knows exactly how things will turn out in reality. And we hope that by the time something similar happens, humanity will find a way to cope with any cataclysms. Or, well, each of us will get a his and her own cosmic Tesla to go to another planet. 
So friends, have you ever witnessed a natural disaster? Share your stories in the comments and don't forget to give us a like. Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.